today I had some inspiration to build a platform for my trunk. Um, it's gonna look something like this. <laughs> Basically, when I fold my seats down, there's like a lip because it's not perfectly flat and that makes it really uncomfortable to lay down. Um, so hopefully this will level it out so it's nice and flat and it'll double as storage because I'm going to make the top part like fold up so I can put stuff inside the platform. So this is my car emptied out with the seats down. They both fold down separately, but... I like to have them both down when I'm sleeping in here because you could fit probably like two people in here side by side, very cozy. But uh, as you can see, there's this very uncomfortable lip right here. So that totally like tweaks your back and I end up sleeping like way up there. So that way my hip is like on the flat part, but I would like to be all the way in the trunk. So we're gonna design a box that goes from there to there and the whole length of the trunk basically and then just to close that gap and make it nice and level and there's going to be a thing that like lifts up and all this stuff so that'll be where I store my <laughs> camping gear that way I don't have to have a huge camping box on the side of my trunk taking up my foot space when I'm laying down in here so yeah let's see how that goes <laughs> came to my friend's house so I can borrow her truck so I can go to Home Depot and pick up some wood for this project. Gonna get my build on. <laughs> safety goggles so I'm wearing my blue light glasses oh god okay so where's the okay maybe I should here we go this is the danger zone all right this is so not gonna come out straight It's time to paint this bad boy. We're going with yellow because that's what Kylie had in her garage, so it's free. Hopefully, that'll make it a little less scratchy because I didn't feel like sanding it, and it'll make it look kind of cute.
So before I show you guys the final product of this platform, I need to talk about how freaking difficult it was to build and how many mistakes I made. So my first mistake was that I wasn't paying attention and I assembled it all, but didn't realize that the paint side was on the wrong side with like half of the board. So I had to disassemble it and then reassemble it again. My wood kept Every splitting corner. because I didn't get thick enough wood. wood split. And then I couldn't figure out how to mount the hinge. I tried it from the outside, tried it from the inside. Then I realized that my screws were too long. So I went all the way to Home Depot to get new screws, but then came back and realized that those ones were too small. So I ended up back at square one and just had to use my old screws, but I used like a little block on the inside. So that way when the screw went through, it would go into the block and not just be sticking out on the other side of the wood, poking everything. So that was really annoying. But in the end, I did end up getting it assembled and it does work and it's nice and sturdy enough. <laughs> And I'm actually really happy with it. So, here it is. Okay, well, I'm really stoked that I can just get it in and out through the trunk. That was really convenient. But we have another problem. Of course, there's another problem. Of course. It fits. It fits perfectly well, just like how I measured, but I didn't account for lifting it up. Now it's stuck. So I just need to shave off those corners. And I think that it, it lifts and you can store stuff down here and then just closes. There's like a little lip right here so you can just like grab it. But yep, she's pretty freaking flat. Not bad, not bad. You could totally fit another person right here. Which is good, because I think Maya's coming along with me again this time. So we can both be back here instead of her cramped in the freaking front seat. You can kind of feel the hinge though, so I feel like I need to shave that down eventually. But for now, I think I'm satisfied. It's, oh, the middle is really comfortable because there's not that hinge stabbing you in the back. So I'd say this was a success. Probably will redo it eventually, but for now this works. Who knows, maybe I don't ever need to rebuild it. Just put some bedding down, like maybe a yoga mat, like the foamy ones, or a sleeping pad, and you're freaking solid, dude. So I think that concludes this video. All right, so I am packing for my road trip tomorrow. That was my box full of camping shit. And dude, I can't believe how perfectly everything fits under this platform that I built. I'm so stoked about this right now. And my tire iron doubles as a stand because I realized later on that I don't know how the hell I'm gonna hold this thing up. <sighs> perfect. Everything fits perfect. I have room for more food right there too, which I'm probably gonna pack more of right now. But yeah, all these like easy access things that I need all the time, like food, stove, flip-flops, toiletries, right in the front, and all the other stuff that I don't need as often is in the back, like propane, tarp, floaty hammock, like ropes and gloves. So yeah, dude, I'm pretty stoked about this. How perfect is this thing that I made? Love it.